welcome guys welcome 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 oh man we're in for a fucking treat here guys we're playing probably what is arguably my favorite game now okay don't get me wrong fallout 3 is perfect to me i love it so much but there's just something about new vegas that just feels so good um this is going to be um mostly a like it, it's pretty much mostly vanilla um the only things that i have added are some i added the um four gigabyte enabler so it uses four gigabytes of ram and then i also added as you can probably see like right here a texture pack and some other like slight retextures other than that though it is mostly base game i haven't changed any gameplay or anything like that now um we're gonna make sure everything is right here okay all right sorry just give me just one moment before we uh get this going guys <laughs> i have the hiccups you'll have to excuse me sorry i'm just slightly fucking with my phone okay there we go we should be good to go should be good to go okay let's get this started start a new game let's Oof. Oh man, such a good song. Copyright be damned. It's too good. You can't turn off Frank Sinatra. Oh, man. This gives me chills, guys. I'm so excited to play this. Did you end up checking out the Sinking City? Oh, fuck. No, I did not. Thank you for reminding me. I will definitely check that out after this. It's been a uh, spacey couple of days. But yeah, thank you for reminding me, though. I will definitely do that. My entire life is spacey. I feel that, homie. I feel that. War. War never changes. When atomic fire consumed the Earth, those who survived did so in great underground vaults. When they opened, their inhabitants set out across the ruins of the old world to build new societies, establishing villages, forming tribes. As decades passed, what had been the American Southwest united beneath the flag of the new California Republic, dedicated to old world values of democracy and the rule of law. As the Republic grew, so did its needs. Scouts spread east, seeking territory and wealth in the dry and merciless expanse of the Mojave Desert. They returned with tales of a city untouched by the warheads that had scorched the rest of the world and a great wall spanning the Colorado River. The NCR mobilized its army and sent it east to occupy Hoover Dam and restore it to working condition. But across the Colorado, another society had arisen under a different flag. A vast army of slaves forged from the conquest of 86 tribes, Caesar's Legion. Four years have passed since the Republic held the dam, just barely, against the Legion's onslaught. The Legion did not retreat. 
Across the river, it gathers strength. Campfires burn, training drums beat. Through it all, the New Vegas Strip has stayed open for business, under the control of its mysterious overseer, Mr. House, and his army of rehabilitated tribals and police robots. You are a courier, hired by the Mojave Express to deliver a package to the New Vegas Strip. Hey, Billy Bob, how's it going? What seemed like a simple delivery job has taken a turn for the worse. You got what you were after, so pay up. You're crying in the rain, Pally. <laughs> Guess who's waking up over here? Oh, God. Time to cash out. That was sketch. <laughs> 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 Maybe cons, cons, oh. people without looking them in the face. But I ain't a fink. Dig? My computer doesn't like this. You've made your last delivery, kid. He doesn't like Benny. It's because he's an Sorry asshole. Sorry you got twisted up in this scene. From where you're kneeling, must seem like an 18 carat run of bad luck. Truth is. The game was rigged from the start. Yes! Yes! Oh, I'm so excited. I hope everything is not as crazy as last night. It's fine, homie. We just chillin'. Starting a new fucking series. One of my favorite games of all time. <clears throat> oh man, we got a ton of packs because we have all the DLCs. Okay. We got a bunch of shit here. Yep, there should be one more. How about that? Are you streaming tomorrow? Well, like in the morning? Yeah. Whoa, easy there. Easy. You've and tomorrow night. A couple of days now. Why don't you just relax a second? Get your bearings. Let's see what the damage is. How about your name? Can you tell me your name? Um, yes. It's grit. Huh. I can't say it's what I'd have picked for you, but if that's your name, that's your name. I think we need to turn up the volume slightly. Welcome to Good Spring. Now, I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. That's fine, I Doc. I my needlework, but you'd better tell me if I left anything out of place. All right. How'd I do? Hmm. Okay. That is not going to fly. All right, so. What's up, Grant? Hey, Mafia. How's it going? How much does this game cost? I mean, shit, now you can probably get the Ultimate Edition, which has all of the, um, all of the DLCs included with it, uh, for, I mean, I don't know, it's gotta be, like, 20 bucks, if that, on Steam, but it goes on sale all the time, so, and the D, you'll want the DLCs. If you're gonna buy it, let me just say that because the DLCs are probably some of the best DLCs in any game ever, in my opinion. I cannot wait to play through them again. Hmm, this is fine. This guy I'll do. This guy I'll do. We can work with this. Yeah, I, I would have to guess 20 bucks for the Ultimate Edition. Hmm. Hmm, we need a bigger nose here. Hmm. There we go. We gotta get my nose. You know? That's a that's a prominent feature. You know, we at least gotta have the nose. Hmm.
Awesome. That I'll have to do. I can't remember what DLC means. Downloadable content. The, um, all the extra stories. There's five. There, there's five for this game, and they are 100% worth it. That's why I said, like, instead of just buying the base game, which you could probably get for really cheap, I would highly, highly, highly recommend the Ultimate Edition. Can't recommend it enough, honestly. Uh, cheeks? Um, I don't really... I don't really know. I don't really know what this means. You know what? We're just gonna fucking roll with this, I guess. He looks angry. Hmm. Now he looks concerned. Oh no! Uh. We need to make him look a little mean. Hmm. You know what, this'll have to do. Maybe just like a little bit more, make him a little more angry. There we go. Hmm. He needs to be gruff, you know? Eyes blue, sure. Coming to get it sometime? Yeah, it's worth it. Could I'm coming to Oklahoma in five hours. We live at 5.45. Nice. That's pretty good. Okay, alright, you know what? This will work. We can work with this. Hairstyle. Hmm. You know what? That'll do. We need to make it like chestnut. There we go. That's good. Huh. <laughs> Thank you very much for the bits. I really, really do appreciate it. Very much so. Hmm. I feel like you should have a big beard. Hmm. And thank you for the host, Billy Bob. I do appreciate it. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Do we want him with a beard? I feel like I feel like he needs to have a beard because he needs to be kind of gruff. I don't like his face. Something about his face slightly bothers me. Hmm. I don't know what it is yet. This is late, it's 12.30. It is 12.30. Hmm. That's a little bit better, I suppose. He looks so mad. His face is kind of sunken. It's the cheeks. You know what, we're gonna roll with it, whatever. Beard or no beard? face is kind of wide I don't know how to fix it like the whole the character creator in this game is not very great hmm yeah I don't know what to do about this beard I say we rock beard too looks pretty good you know what we're just gonna roll with this Hmm. Uh, yeah, sure. Well, I got most of it right anyway. Stuff that mattered. We could change it later if no we needed to as well. Bed anymore. Let's see if we can get you on your feet. Good. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room? I think we need to turn it up a little bit. At least the speech. You know what I mean? Take it slow now. It ain't a race. Nice, okay.
This will work, I suppose. You're looking good so far. Go ahead and give the bigger. I like this texture pack. It looks very, very nice. You'll learn right quick if you get back all your faculties. Can I quick save in this game? I can't tell if I if I can like quick save. Hmm, that's fine. We'll try later. Okay, we'll just go to the very end of this and we'll fix it there. Hmm. Okay, so we're gonna want a decent amount in agility. Um one in charisma. Maybe perception. And well maybe fuck, maybe two charisma. Hmm. Intelligence though. Intelligence intelligence is important. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know about this one. Maybe one intelligence. There we go. You know what? That'll have to that'll do. We yeah, won't uh pretty standard score there, but after what you've been through, I'd say that's We like nice. don't get me wrong, charisma well, is good. But we can always increase it later by other means, you know. Having intelligence is good for the skill points. We kind of need it. See if your dogs are still barking. Um, okay. All right. I'm going to say a word. I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Dog. Uh, cat. House. Uh... Shelter. Night. Um. I think you have the right idea of doing intelligence. Yeah. That's kind of what I was thinking, too. Just gonna watch for a while. Sounds good, Billy Bob. Um. Campfire. Enemy. Hmm. Uh. Hmm. Swiss cheese. Light. Uh. Dark. Mother. Uh. Cookie jar. Okay. Sure. Now I got a few statements. I want you to tell me how much they sound like something you'd say. First one. Conflict just ain't in my nature. Um. Uh. No opinion. I ain't given to relying on others for support. Um. Agree. I'm always fixing to be the center of attention. Uh, no opinion. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. Uh, disagree. I charge in to deal with my problems head on. Uh, strongly agree. Almost done here. What do you see? I might go to have bed soon this? because you know. Tell me what you see. Makes sense, especially if you're getting up early, Mafia. I never knew you could scroll down on that. Yeah. Um, what do I see here? Uh, what does that look like? Um. Hmm. Uh, chemical reaction. Okay. How about this one? Um, I've been too embarrassed to say what it looks like. Last one. That looks like some sort of nuke. Well, that's all she wrote. I don't have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. See if it all seems right to you. This brings back memories already. I feel that. Uh, no, none of these are okay. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go summon to speech, repair, and then guns. It's gonna be our thing. That'll be good. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. I got a form for you to fill out so I can get a sense of your medical history. Right. Just a formality. Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. Shit, two bears. Speech, good job. Yeah. Now, you see, I never know what... I'm just gonna not with these. They all have... Like, don't get me wrong. I mean, the benefits are nice, but I don't really want... I don't really want the downsides. You know?
Alright, this is one of the only games I'm decent at. Yeah, it's a good one. Wild Wasteland could be interesting. But, eh, you know what? Fuck it. No, I'm not picking anything. We're going classic here. Come with me, I'll see you out. It's just four eyes. I mean, that's a decent one. I just don't want to have to be restricted to wearing glasses the entire time. You know? What if I want to change it up? Actually, we're going to get some stuff here. We're going to take this. Repair this, too. Um, hmm. There's some stim packs here. We'll take this. Anti-venom, Radex, stim pack. Okay. Gun case. A laser pistol that we won't use, but we will sell. Hmm. Is there anything in here? Eh, nothing good. Hmm. Sunset Sarsaparilla. We will take that. Hmm. Is there anything more that we want in here? Let's look in here. A knife? Now, we did already get, like, a decent amount of stuff from the, um, the packs that we get, like, at the beginning of the game. Uh, so, we, we aren't super, super worried about a lot of this shit. But, um, we would like stim packs. Stim packs are, are good. Do you have anything in here worth taking? Nuka Cola. Yeah, we don't need his food. Hmm. We'll, we'll let him have his hat. Here, these are yours. Was all you had on you? Oh shit, Kai. How, how are you? I'm I'm doing well. I gave the note a look. I thought it doing very well. How are you? Of kin, but it was just something about a platinum chip. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They call it a Pip-Boy. I grew up in one of them vaults they made before the war. We all got one. Ain't much use to me now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something taken from you. And put this on, too, so the locals don't pick on you for lacking modesty. Never was much my style, anyway. Well, thank you for patching me up, Doc. I appreciate it. Don't mention it. It's what I'm here for. Awesome. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. Sounds I good, Doc. some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out, too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. Sounds but good. Try not to get killed anymore. I make no promises. Um, I'm not gonna do hardcore mode, I don't think. I want this to be a very chill playthrough. Like, normally I kinda would, but I'm gonna go no. I'm gonna go no for this one. Maybe an unpopular choice, but I want it to be a chill, a chill playthrough. Did you work today, Kai? I've never played hardcore. Oh, yep, we're gonna get the Old World Blue stuff, the Lonesome Road stuff, Happy Trails, that's Honest Hearts. Hmm. Okay, we got all the things. Oh, yep, Gunrunner's Arsenal, yep, okay. Oh man, we got a lot of things. Hmm. Yeah, I did work. How was it? We got a lot of good shit here. Namely the shotgun. It's what I care most about. We'll wear the uh, armored jumpsuit. Like the lightweight leather armor is pretty good. And I'm not so much one for medium or heavy armor. I usually like light armor. And this tribal rating armor just kind of sucks balls. So, that's fine. Oh, yeah, we're looking good. Oh, dead money. I really like this texture pack. It's so nice. It, like, it improves everything, but it doesn't, like, 
ruin the vanilla aesthetic. You know what I mean? Just makes the roads look nicer and shit like that, you know? It's really good. It's really good. I, I like it a lot. Hmm. You must be the one Doc Mitchell was patching up. I the was. I heard it, I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. I've got plenty of supplies for sale. Even got some weapon mods and special ammo. Well worth the caps if you ask me. If you're hurting for caps, I've... Yep, okay. All right, that's fine. I just need to sell you some shit, my guy. Hmm. We're gonna get fucking... We're gonna get all the copyright strikes because of these, this game. <laughs> my fucking YouTube hates when I play these games. Hmm. We'll keep the machete on us. And the 9mm pistol, I suppose. Oh, wait, actually, we won't keep the 9mm pistol because we have this pistol and it's way fucking better. Hmm. I mostly just want to sell this and this. Hmm. Lightweight with leather armor. Yeah, we'll sell that too. We'll keep the jumpsuit. It's nice. Hmm. You know what? That's fine for now. Do you have anything I could use? You do have some stim packs. Hmm. We'll take, uh, maybe three. Fuck, they're expensive. Give me a shout if you need anything else. That's fine. By the way, I do apologize too um, for any potential future crashes. I don't know how stable this is. I haven't really tested it out, and I do have some mods on. So, you know, just be warned. You know, might happen occasionally. Cheyenne, stay. Hopefully not. Don't worry. She won't bite unless I tell her to. Um, Doc Mitchell said you could teach me to survive in the desert. Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. Hmm. Yeah, I don't have a cool job like Grit. Customer service is alright, you know? My job sucks. So, you know. It sounds cool until you actually do it. Then it's not that cool. It's a lot of bullshit. You know what I mean? My mom and dad both now, work customer service see jobs too. Bottles on the fence there? Take this and try to hit a couple of them. Deal. People suck, grit. Yeah. People do suck. Oh, it already equipped it. Nice. Alright. Fuck, I missed. That's there we go. Idea. Look down the site. Well, I mean, I already was. Try crouching down and staying still. It'll help your own. No shot. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Tell you what. I gotta go chase geckos. This is just a tutorial. Darn I don't think we really need it. to do it. Why don't you come along? Uh, I think I've learned enough. Suit yourself. Hope this helped you some. I'm heading back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. Hey, do me a favor. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. I remember I used to think she was kind of cute. Yeah, not bad. You know? She's a badass. Hmm. I'm done being nice. If you don't hand Ringo over soon, I'm going to get my friends and we're burning this town to the ground. Got it? We'll Cheyenne, get please. Yeah, Cheyenne. <laughs> get out. Get the fuck what? out of here, guy. Hey, Trudy. Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. Oh, uh, what the hell is all that about? Looks like our little town got itself dragged in the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. Uh, about like a week what? ago, this trader, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. 
needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock, so we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. Um, where is he now? He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. Uh, what do you what do you plan on doing about this, Trudy? Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. Right. Uh, the, the powder gangers? Chang gangs, really. The NCR brought them in from California to work on the rail lines. Right. Problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. That would make it was sense. They escaped not too long ago. Some of them stuck together so they could make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. Right. Okay. Hmm. Uh, why not just kill Cobb and be done with it? You mean murder him? That's not our way. Even if Cobb is scum, he can bluster and threaten all he wants. Um, okay. All right. I'm trying to track down the people who attacked me. Do you know any? Do you know anything about them, Trudy? Not much, other than they're a bunch of freeloaders who expected a few rounds on the house. I was able to get them to pay up, though. Right. Of course, one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor by accident, and it hasn't been working since. Did they say they were where they were going? They were having some kind of argument about it, but the guy in the checkered coat kept shushing them. It sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. If that's the case, I can't say I blame them for not wanting to go back. Uh, why? That whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. Merchants avoid that whole stretch of I-15 like it's radioactive, which it could be for all I know. Right. So, uh, where were they headed? I didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking about the strip. Okay. If wants to get there and avoid the 15, he'd have to go east. Take Highway 93 up. Right, okay. Hmm. Um, alright, Trudy. Be careful well, thank out you. There. I'll go help you out. What happened that you got out so immensely late? Well, we started this, um, I can't fix the radio. What the, what the fuck? I wish I could fix the radio. Hmm. Well, that's okay. It's not letting me for some reason. Hey, feeling thirsty? Hmm. Want me to take a look at your broken radio? Sure. The outside looks okay, but I think something broke on the inside. There okay. All right. That's fine. Um, but anyway, uh, we started... Like, I don't know, I've kind of started this... So we do um, group PT, like um, like working out uh, after work and stuff like that usually. And I've, like, I'm trying to do it more. You know what I mean? Like, I need, I've, like, I'm trying to work out more than I do normally because uh, I need it. <laughs> so I'm... Um, so like I've been going to like kind of later like extra PT sessions and stuff like that, you know? So yeah, just happens. All I hear is you broke another plane. Great getting ripped. No, not getting ripped. Uh, just trying to, uh, uh, you know, maintain. Feeling thirsty? I can take care of that. I fixed your radio by the way. Yeah, I heard it turn right back on. You broke you another plane? No, and this I didn't broke. The, I didn't break the first one. I never broke any plane. Okay. Uh, but thank you for the caps. You're Trudy. welcome. So can I get you anything? Be careful out there. All right, Trudy. But, but no, it. I just uh, you know, just, just had to work out. I'm probably gonna be doing it tomorrow night as well, so I expect it to be a little bit later uh, tomorrow, too. So did the plane break while you were working on it? It didn't break, so I tried to. I, I've explained this to Kai, but hmm, what's the easiest way to explain this? Okay, so I work on a. I work with a radar, right? I I fix. I maintain the radar on this plane. And it, um, it basically, like, 
whenever there's issues, like we have like a console that we sit at to where we can control this radar when to like how to transmit out and stuff like that. And there's this little box that sends us data to our console that tells us if everything is working properly. That day when I broke the airplane, it just like, it stopped sending us the data that we needed in the middle of us working on it for no reason. So, yeah. I didn't break any fucking plane, That's okay? That's close enough. Oh, shit. Who are you? And what do you want with me? Ringo, um, if you're gonna shoot, you better not fucking miss my Sorry guy. Sorry about the gun. You just caught me off guard, that's all. Oh, hey, doctor. How's it going? Start. What say we start over with a friendly game of caravan? You know how to play? Uh, no, I don't give a shit about caravan. <laughs> Great wasting American tax dollars since 1995. Crit said no such thing to me. I, okay, Kai. All right. You, th you know what? That's you know what. Whatever. That's fine. <laughs> I didn't break any fucking plane. Okay. Whatever. Do you know there's a man named Joe Cobb looking for you? Yeah. He doesn't look very tough though. I hear he's afraid I'll shoot him down from one of the windows when I see him. And he's right. I'll have a much bigger problem once his friends show up. There's no way I could handle all of them in a gunfight. Right. Uh, so what are you going to do about it? I'm going to lay low for as long as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw me to the wolves. Right. I've got no chance against the gang on my own. Maybe I can help. We just end up sharing the same grave if it's just the two of us. Now, if some of the other people in town were also on board... Oh, man, I'm just kidding. I knew that. Love you, Grit. Love you too, Kai. Y'all kill me. Um, I'll ask around and see who I can round up, Start buddy. Start with Sunny Smiles. She's been friendlier than most around here. Gotcha, okay. But I am gonna loot this fucking place, though. I'll take this sarsaparilla. Oh, shit, I did a thing. Hmm. I'll take all the sarsaparilla. Is there any... So what's going on? Can you fuck off, Ringo? I'm not trying to talk to you. I'm trying to loot this place that you're living in. Duffel bag. 357 Magnum rounds. Some Rad X. That's pretty good. Oh, shit. Oh, I can't open it. Damn it. Ooh. I'm not going to steal them. I don't need it. I don't need it. I'm a good boy. Yeast. Doctor's bag. That's pretty good. Hmm. Okay, well, whatever. We're just gonna go. We'll go talk to Sunny Smiles. And uh, whoever else in town can uh, help us out with this um, situation. Man, I love this aesthetic so much. You're probably gonna hear that a lot while I play this. Don't you make less selling in town after your discount than before? What do you mean? Howdy. Hi there. Sticking around Good Springs for a while longer? And plus, I don't come to back to this town often. You know what I mean? It's pretty rare that you actually come back here for shit. You know? There's so many better options for buying and selling gear. Um, I'm gonna help Ringo take on the Powder Gangers. I might need your help. Say no more. I'm in. This shit. That was easy. Joe Cobb talks about leaving us alone if we hand over Ringo. But I know his type. He and his friends will come after the town eventually. Right. However, between you, me, and Ringo, we aren't exactly a force to be reckoned with. A lot of people around here look up to Trudy. If you could convince Trudy to join us, some of the folks in town gotcha. might decide to help yeah. out as well. I know Easy Pete's got a stock of dynamite somewhere, and Chet just got a shipment of leather armor we could borrow. Talk to them as well. Finally, there's a good chance we'll all end up with extra holes in us. So if Doc Mitchell could cough up some extra stim packs, that'd be great. Okay. Oh man. The one thing I don't like about this game, and it, it seems to be like this with every like old Bethesda game, is when I like scroll through the chat, it scrolls down my like activity log so I can't see it. I'll be waiting. I gotta use the little like drag thing. Okay, let's start with Trudy. This is the hey. easy one. So you're planning on taking on Joe Cobb's gang? It's a big risk, but I suppose you have to do what you think is right. 
Uh, you should help me take down the powder gang. Uh, bullets, explosions, lots of fun, you know? I was planning on sitting this one out, but for some reason, I can't help but like you. I'm with you. Let me have a word with a few nice. other folks, and I'll see if I can't round up some more members for this militia you're creating. While everyone does own a gun, we could stand to be a little better equipped. The general store probably has what we need in stock. Same, that's why I'm not sure. Yeah. I usually get help from everyone in town. Everyone but Mr. Boom Man. Yeah. I get ya. I don't know how much I'll be able to do because my skills are very, like, specialized. Trudy was like a given. Pete, he's not gonna Howdy. give me shit. Um, here you got dynamite, buddy. Too dangerous. Gonna kill all yourselves if I let you touch it. Yeah, it's not gonna, it's not gonna happen. Keep your gun handy if you... Yep, okay, that's fine, Pete. I don't give a shit. Oh, shit. <clears throat> that was a paragraph, Mafia. The reason the Army, Navy, Air Force, and Marines squabble among themselves is that they don't speak the same language. It's kind of true. For example, take the simple phrase like, secure the building. They're going to put guards around the place. The Navy will turn out the lights and lock the doors. Air Force will take a five-year five lease with an option to buy. The Marines will kill everybody inside and make it a command post. You know, it's not wrong. You looking to buy some supplies? Um, I need supplies to fight the powder gangers. Now just hold on. I never voted to take on the powder gangers. That's a thousand cap investment you're talking about. See, I'm not going to be able to get help from any of these dudes. Like, it's just not going to happen. I don't really have the skills. You know? Which is unfortunate. I think we're just going to go up here and start this fucking fight and... Hope for the best. I think we can do it. As long as they don't kill, like, a couple certain people, we're good. Totally didn't copy and paste. Sorry, there were no funny jokes. Hey, man, you know, it's the thought that counts. So what's going on? Did Sonny agree to help us? Uh, Sonny's with us. Well, I guess that means we're... Let's just fucking do this, my guy. All right, I'm ready. I hope. Time to look alive. The power oh, shit. are here to play. Hmm. Uh, where's Trudy and the rest? They're getting set up in cover, but it might not go well unless we get out there soon. Right. How many are there? At least six. Joe Cobb included. They look pretty mean. I always rely heavily on charisma and energy weapons, so you can use my charisma for the help and usually my medical. I hate bombs, though, so the skill never gets paid attention to. Yeah, my, uh, uh, my skills that I tagged and that I usually tag in, like, uh, a run of fallout or something like that is I went with speech guns and repair I'll be set up near the store let's hope that the gang doesn't manage to make it that far and then they pro and then I'll probably end up going like um uh sneak and medicine at some point too because those are just generally useful we gotta fucking go because they're gonna start shooting You know what I'm gonna do though? Because I don't use this often. I'm gonna use it here. Well, look at them. They're gonna start fucking shooting at me. Great. Yep, okay. We know what Vats is. Hmm. We wanna try this. Fuck! The blood splatters. Oh shit, Joe Cobb's dead. Oh, man. Awesome. Well, that was easy. I forgot that enhanced blood textures. I owe you a huge favor. For this. Just does the thing. Here, these are technically Crimson Caravan funds, but I know they'll understand once I explain things. Right. Uh, you're welcome, buddy. I'll stick around for a bit longer, but I'll be gone in a few days. If you ever visit New Vegas, look me up at the Crimson Caravan camp. Right. Okay. Hmm. So that's up speech. Wait, how many do we have? 13? Uh, we'll just make it even, like, around the board here. Hmm. Maybe one more in speech. Speech is good. Rapid reload is just too good. And, ah, Swift Learner is also pretty good, though. Like, this early on. 
Confirmed Bachelor is also pretty good, too. Hmm. Hmm. I think we'll go, uh, Rapid Reload, probably. It's just a good one. But yeah, I forgot that, um, Enhanced Blood, uh, Textures, which is one of the mods that I got, it, um... It definitely like adds a, a blood splatter to my uh, to my screen when I get shot. Swift learner. The swift learner is good. I really, really, actually thought about that one, but I didn't. Thank you for the follow, Jack. I I do very much appreciate it. Um, I'll take the baseball cap. Why not? Fuck it. You know. Oh, actually, this cowboy hat though. It's pretty good. Just because the earlier you get it, the better it is. Yeah, it's true. It's true. I just really like the fast reload. It's just generally useful, you know? Hmm. Alright, well that was fucking easy. Alright, well, I suppose... There was something, for some reason, I feel like there's something over at this, uh, this graveyard that I need to go and get. I don't know what. I don't know why I'm being drawn to it, but I am. For some reason, I feel like there's something over here. Um, travel onward. Look at this gruff bastard. He's ready for, he's ready for the desert. The fuck is this? Why do I not remember this? Well, I'm tired, so I think I'm gonna go to bed. All right, Mafia, sounds good. Love you, buddy. God, I'm having like frame rate issues, like a motherfucker. Oh wait, this is the memorial. This isn't the graveyard. What the fuck? The hell is this place? I don't remember this. I thought the graveyard was over here. This part of a mod? Am I tripping? Am I losing my mind? Oh, is that the that's the graveyard up there? What the fuck is this place? That's true. I used plasma once, and I, uh, I used plasma once. I can, and they're slow as fuck. Yeah. Abandoned shack. What the f What is this? That's always there? I don't remember this whatsoever. A nine iron? It's very dark and dank in here. An ammo box? Hmm. I wish there was like something in here we could read that would tell us like what the fuck this is. Steady, I'll take steady. Had some stuff in it, so I suppose it's not all bad. Scrap electronics. Lad's life. I'm pretty sure that's survival. Oh shit, that's scorpions. Nope, not about it. This is where I wanted to go, though. I wanted to go to the, um... Please don't see me. I wanted to go to the, uh... The graveyard. I think it's just meant as, like, a safe house. Yeah. I just don't remember it. For some reason, I, like, I... I don't remember that for some reason. Hmm, what's up here? You need a shovel to dig here. Why do I feel like there's something here? Oh, this was where I got picked up from. There's a bunch of shit over here.
Sir Technics, thank you for the uh, follow. I do appreciate it. This was why the snow globe. If I remember correctly, there's like some interesting, like you can hear some spooky shit here. I don't know if y'all could hear that, but I definitely just heard some sort of like ghostly whisper. Make sure you look on the ground around the grave you were in. Is there something I missed? Besides a little lantern? There's that spooky ghost talk again. This is creeping. This is creeping me out. Oh my god. Alright, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Man, there was one person we forgot to talk to in town as well. And we should definitely go and do that. I also need to get my, uh... You're looking for distinctive cigarette butts? I didn't see shit. Oh, these bad boys. How did I not see those before? Wild. You guys probably saw them like 10 million times. I just didn't even, I didn't even notice them. There was someone we forgot to talk to, though. So we're gonna go and do that. Howdy, partner. Might I say you're looking fit as a fiddle? Uh, thanks for digging me out of that grave, Victor. Don't mention it. I'm always ready to lend a helping hand to a stranger in need. Uh, how'd you, how'd you find me, my guy? I was out for a stroll that night when I heard the commotion up the old bone orchard. It's all it looked like the old bone orchard. Eggs, so I laid low. Once they'd run off, I dug you up to see if you were still kicking. Turns out you were. So I hauled you off to the Can I tell them why you picked them up? Sure. Hmm. Uh... How do you know, uh, do you know who those men were who attacked me? Can't say that I'm familiar with the rascals. Some of the fine folks in town might be able to help you out with that. Can they, though? Um, how'd you, uh, how'd you end up at Good Springs, my guy? I moseyed into town, oh, moseyed. 15 years ago. I moseyed Before on that, into I... town! Um, I can't quite seem to recall odd anyway it's a right peaceful town and i reckon it's as fine a place to settle as any you can use them benny's liner and something else as evidence to convince swanks that benny has gone rogue that's right i forgot about that i completely forgot about that i i fuck benny like i mostly just kill the fuck out of him the russian might hey hey russian how, how's it going is this your first playthrough? Um, no, definitely not my first playthrough. <laughs> it's uh, it's been a minute since I've played through it, but um, definitely not. This is one of my favorite games ever. Hmm. All right, we rolling. I love this texture pack. 
Like I said, it doesn't add like it doesn't take away at all from the aesthetic, but it just makes the roads and stuff like that just look so much nicer. You know? It's very nice. I like to have sex with Benny, then kill him in his sleep. We can only do that as a female. Yeah. The stutters. I wonder what the stutters are from. I actually kind of have an idea of what they're from. I did get this thing that, uh, one mod that increases, like, basically how detailed things that are super far away are. That way, like, if you're looking through your scope, you're still going to get, like, roughly the same amount of detail as you would, uh, with stuff that's up close. You know what I mean? It makes it look better. But I think it's loading stuff that is super far out, so it's, like, making it stutter here and there. I don't know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look into it whenever I, uh... Maybe between this and the next stream. Gene skydiving. Oh, there's some boys here. Oh. This motherfucker sees me. Time to die! Shit. Wow, he went down fast. That was like one shot. Ow. Oh, shit. Nice. Hmm. Single shotgun, 12, 20 gauge rounds. I'll, I'll take that. And your NCR money. Do they have mines and shit around? For some reason, I feel like they do. Hmm. That's fine. We're gonna keep going to Prim. We're gonna make our way over there. Hungry? Thirsty? Horny? Fuck! Oh my god. What the fuck? What? Is, this gun? It's like god tier. Or I'm just get. I'm really good at headshots. Ah! Fuck! I'm only one of the three. Okay, all right. Psycho. Hmm. Bottle caps. Steel dynamite. The note. The note reads, Not many patrols out here lately, which means not much loot. Our crew is thinking we should make a move soon. Follow the tracks up north, head towards the strip. You in? Ain't on the Chain Gang anymore, but we still gotta stick together. Hmm, interesting. The Powder Gangers are moving out. The fuck is that? Is that a gecko? It was a little gecko boy, wasn't it? Oh god. It's reds! It's reds! Ah, oh, jeez, we gotta get out of this. Look at that little gecko. Look at him run! We missed. Well, that's okay. It's a bug that I missed. I think he saw me though. Oh jeez. He's not coming after me, so whatever. Okay, there's another little gecko guy. Wait, no, that's a bug. That's a cockroach. Oh, there's a gecko guy. Look at him. Pretty good. Hey, can you fuck off? Killing humans with one shot, but this fucking gecko takes four. You know, I was slightly concerned we broke something. Because we are on normal difficulty, and I was taking them out in one shot, but apparently not. The hell do you want? Hey, where the hell do you think you're going? Prince Wherever the hell I want! I can take care of myself, guy. It's your ass. Don't say you weren't warned. Oh, man. One thing we do have to decide, though, is who are we going to help?
because, I mean, I personally like the thought of an independent New Vegas, you know, but ultimately it's bad, you know, it's, it's just not really good for the outcome of the, the, you know, region. Mr. House is good. You should take the shortcut. You can go north to Vegas. No! No, I'm good on that, Kai. I would not make it. I don't think I would make it. Plus, there's so much story down here. You don't want to miss out on all the juicy, uh, you know, the juicy story down here. Oh, fuck. There's two of them. Fuck! Fuck, I missed. One down. You know what? I forget. There's death claws there. Glad you didn't go. I know. Where the fuck is this guy? Is he fucking hiding? That's what fucking happens. That's what happens to babies, okay? Give me a baby and hide. That's what you get. I'll take your varmint rifle so I can repair mine. I'll take your dynamite too. Kill your shitty friends. Hmm. I'll take this stuff, sure. Storm chaser hat, sure. Let's put, on, let's put on our hat. Oh yeah, look at this. Yes. We're looking good. There's a guy up there. I forgot about him. There was a guy up there. I feel like this is really easy. I mean, we're on normal. You know? It feels very easy, though. I don't know what it was brought you to Prim, youngster, but you might want to rethink your plans. Town's gone to hell. Uh, who the hell are you? Johnson Nash is my name. Husband to Ruby Nash. Right. Lived in Prim going on eight years now, thick and thin. I'm a trader primarily, for what it's worth with things like they are. I also run the local Mojave Express outpost. Gotcha. I'm a courier with them, actually. Well, I don't got any work right now, sorry to say. I lost a package I was supposed to deliver. I'll tell you whatever I can. You have a delivery order you can show me? Um, I do, actually. Oh, so you're talking about one of them packages. That job had strange written all over it, but we couldn't turn down the caps. Uh, some men stole my package. Man in a checkered suit and some thugs. Well, now that you mentioned it, a few nights back, one of the townies was out scavenging for supplies. Right. He said he saw a fellow with a daisy suit come through with some of them great con misfits. They was talking about a chip. One of those men shot me. I need to know the best way to get to him. Well, for that, your best bet is going to be talking to Deputy Beagle. Okay. Since they came to town, he was keeping a good bit of notes on him, and he was slinking around Bison Steve when your pretty boy friend came through. Right. He may have heard where they were going. Gotcha. Don't go getting yourself shot. Okay. Hmm. Hey there. Yeah, how's it going, my guy? Hmm. Okay. So we need to go into the Bison Steve and go and rescue, uh, fucking... Our... It is a Bison Steve. That, that name sounds... That, that name feels weird to me. I don't know what it is about it. The Bison Steve. Steve is just an odd name. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I missed. I hit him, but it didn't do anything. Hey, fuck you, guy. Are you just gonna stand there? Okay, that's fine. What was that? Had enough. Fuck, I missed. Oh, yeah, that's what fucking happens, guy. Get back. I love the shotgun so much. What are we doing? Okay, alright. <laughs> that was weird. 
Hmm. We don't have science or lockpick. We should probably get those up at some point. Purified water, stim pack, sure. Varma rifle, for sure. Man, they they both have a ton of shit. I don't think we need to take his varma rifle. Um, yeah, this is probably fine. Oh shit! It's a guy. It's it's a dude. Hmm. Oh, it's a teddy bear. Oh, it's caps. We need caps. Hmm. Anything in the cash registers? Pre-war money, sure, I'll take that. And the rest of these stim packs. Oh, more pre-war money, nice. Tales of a junk town jerky vendor, that's that's a pretty good find. Bottle caps, sure. More pre-war money and some more bottle caps. I'll take it. Damn, this shotgun is too good. Ow! His armor! His armor's too good! We just gotta hit- we gotta get headshots, that's our problem. How? Okay, now he's dead. That's good, okay. Oh god, the blood splatter! Hmm. We'll take all this shit. Oh shit, there's still a guy alive. Wasn't there a dude with the flamethrower? I thought there was a dude with the flamethrower always. Hmm. That's fine. Whatever. I mean, I'm okay with it. This guy had some sweet leather armor. Oh yeah, wait. Yeah, he did. He had an incinerator, he just didn't use it. That's weird. I do like your, like, leather armor. I like the plain leather armor. It reminds me of, like, fucking Mad Max. You know what I mean? This thing is worth a decent amount. Maybe we'll take it. Hmm. $100! NCR? That's pretty good. You poor bitch. Ow! This motherfucker. What are you doing, guy? We'll take all this stuff, sure. My guy. Deputy Beagle. I don't suppose you came here to rescue me. I'd cross my fingers, but my hands are numb. I did, actually. You must be Deputy Beagle. Why, yes, I am. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm in a bit of a predicament here. I'd be most appreciative if you'd set me free. I hear you may have information on some cons that came through with the guy in a checkered suit. Indeed I do, good sir. And I would be thrilled to share that information with you as soon as I am released from captivity. Um, shit. Okay, fine. Oh, that's just marvelous. I think I'll be making my way outside now. The air is a little close in here. Hmm. You know what? That's fine. Run away. You don't look like you'd be much help. Then I'll defer to your superior appraisal of character and prowess in contests of arms and see you outside. Okay, that's fine. I'll just go and take care of the rest of these dudes up here. That's fine. Hmm. Where are they at? Is it up this way? It is. We should hot. We should uh, hotkey some shit too. Like stims. Stims def definitely need to be hotkeyed. Hmm. Okay, weapons for sure. Uh, we'll do um. The shotgun on three. The. Where's our varmint rifle? Can repair this. Put this on four. Our pistol on five, I suppose. That works for me. Hmm. The Bison Steve Hotel. 
Should be more dudes up here. Oh, fuck! Oh my god. He was right there. He had a lot of shit, though. Hmm. Take your other armor rifle. Why not? And your bottle caps. I'll take it. No one? No one's here. Whoa! Except your worst nightmare, bitch! Alright, there we go. You don't have a fucking head anymore. Okay, I'll take these. I'll take your psycho, sure. You know what? That's good. I got a level up. Nice. They all have a lot of fucking cash on them. Like, a lot. That's really good. Where are the rest of these dudes? Oh yeah, they're in here, aren't they? Had enough. Oh shit! Shot the gun right out of his hands! Damn, there we go. Um, speech? We'll keep going with speech. The, the faster we get speech up, the better. I love speech in this game. It's too good. They all have so much stuff on them. You know what? I will take this farmer rifle, actually. Bison Hotel cabinet key. Where's that cabinet? Hmm. There's a cabinet that requires a key? Oh, fuck. Okay. It's not this. Oh, there was pre-war money. Pre money in there, though. Blah, blah, blah. I can't talk. Let's, uh... Let's find this cabinet. I don't know where that would be. Assuming up here somewhere, maybe? Suitcase? Sexy sleepwear! Of course, we have to take that, you know? Hmm. Cigarettes? There's some stuff over here. Oh, it's locked. Of course. Armor. Merc Troublemaker outfit? I don't really need that. Um, let's let's look up here, though. There's got to be some more shit up here that we missed. We need all the Sunset Sarsaparillas so we can start collecting the blue bottle caps. Actually, we're a little low on health. Let's just start drinking some of it. Hmm. This cabinet. Oh, here we go. Wow. Okay. Hmm. A cowboy repeater? That's what I like to see. That's good. I like that. Alright, we'll take this 10 mil pistol as well. Because why not, you know? Oh, man. We're looking good. Let's go outside and meet uh, Deputy Beagle. Yeah, he was, uh... He decided to be a little bitch and go outside, so let's go talk to him. I feel like I did better without him anyway. You know what I mean? And as much as I'm not a huge fan of the blood splatters, or uh, like on screen when I'm getting shot, because sometimes they're in the way, like it does look really nice. The blood on like stuff looks really nice. Oh. A very easy locked door. I almost fucked that up. That's empty. That's not. Nothing we need in there. A doctor's bag. That's really good, actually. And a carton of smokes. Fuck it, we'll take it, you know? How do we how do we go downstairs? Can we repair this? Ooh, we can. Nice. Let's do a quick save too. I feel like, uh, you know. The one thing I will say that I like about this one a lot is it feels a lot more stable to me. Like, I feel like I don't have to worry about it crashing as much as I did with um, Fallout 3, you know? Hey, buddy. Well, that was quite an adventure. We taught those convicts a thing or two, didn't we? Breaking myself out of a hostage situation. Not to diminish your role in it, of course, but it was quite thrilling. Problem is, there's still no law in Prim. 
What are we to do the next time ruffians menace us and hold us hostage? Uh, can you, you know, uh, what are the qualifications for sheriff? It should be someone brave like you, but more of a homebody. Someone who'll settle down and watch over us. I heard the powder gangers talking about someone in the prison named Myers who has some experience as a sheriff. He may be a good choice. Also, with the NCR so close by, you may be able to get them to take over the town. Not sure why they haven't helped out already. Um, yeah, I'll help bring Law and Order back. That's just the sheriff that was incarcerated up at NCRCF may be a good choice. Who should we you get for the the sheriff that here? NCR guy across the road to take the town under his wing. Although martial law doesn't sound so fun. Hmm. Oh, but I need information Can on Benny before you go. A suitable candidate for our next sheriff? No, not yet. I want to find out about the uh about Benny. Ah, yes. My memory is much clearer now that I'm free from my bondage. Right. I was uh, performing recon, gathering information on some of the powder gangers, when some great cons arrived with your friend in the suit. They were talking about some delivery they took from a courier. I assume that was you? They said they'd be heading through Nipton to Novak to meet a contact there. Right, okay. To Nipton through Novak. Interesting. Hmm. I'm gonna quick save real quick. Um, my wife is in here, so I'll be right back, guys. Give me, like, just a moment. Oh man, okay. Let's get back to it. See, so we could make, we could make this robot here, Sheriff. Howdy, partner. Welcome to the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. Three fishing batteries and four conductors. Okay, you know what? Happy trails, partner. We'll hold off on this for right now. We'll come back and decide this later. We'll decide Prim's fate later. Dude can hold off on his own for a minute, I feel like. Okay. Now, we did get a cowboy repeater. And I love that gun. It's a good gun. We just don't have anything to repair it with right now, which is unfortunate. But hopefully, we'll get some more here uh, shortly. You know, not too long from now. That'd be convenient. Hmm. It's too quiet out here. It's like just not a lot happening, you know? Look at these guys. They're about to get fucked. Damn, nice. One down. This poor bastard. He doesn't even know what's going on.
He's dead too. Awesome. Now, if I remember correctly, I think there is like a strong motherfucker over here or someone in like pretty heavy armor. So we're gonna keep crouched. We look fucking crazy. We look like we belong out here though. Somehow. A Merc vet armor. Eh, I'm not a huge fan of that armor. Hmm. Need a varmint rifle. We'll take that. We have a lot of armor rifles, actually. We should probably stop taking varmint rifles. It's just instinct to just take all extra things that we might need for repairs. Oh, bitch. Get out of here. You try to shoot at me. Now, I think there is another one. I'm not mistaken, but I thought there was. I might be mistaken. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh. Uh. There is someone over here. And I don't know where they're at. They're hiding. They're being sneaky sneaks. Aha! Uh -huh. Found you. And now you're fucking dead. Congratulations. It's a jackal gang member. Hmm. Where'd he go? Oh. The leather armor. I do like jet. That's pretty good. Take your 10 mil rounds as well. Hmm. But the lady over here. We never did loot this lady. Let's go in here. We'll check out this building. 10 mil rounds. Bottle caps. A fork. A jet. Sure. Purified water, why not? Hmm. I have a bad feeling about this. Uh -huh. I was right. I was very right. Damn! Her head exploded! Holy shit, okay. Ah, there's more! There's bugs! There's bugs! We have a machete. Let's kill him with a machete. So we don't waste ammo for no reason. Hmm. Let's take their leather armor too. Dog meat. Hmm. We want their leather armor. There's bugs in here. There's all, a lot of bugs. There we go. That was a pretty good first aid box, actually. Um, let's fix up all this leather armor and uh, maybe we'll use this. Ah, uh, this is still better right now. We'll get more though, we'll get more. We got a dude over here. Oh, Hydra, that's pretty good. Hmm. Boys, it's time to die. Oh my god, we just slaughtered them all. Oh, wow. Two of clubs, 20 gauge rounds, three of spades. Sure, anti-venom's good. A bottle cap. Um, I do like his cowboy hat. We'll take that. Because why not, you know? Hmm. Ooh. A Sunset Sarsaparilla star bottle cap. And some brass knuckles. Which I don't think we really need, but... Oh, we can't chop off his head? That's unfortunate. I'm actually slightly annoyed that his head wouldn't chop off. And see, we can get them. And cut off those legs. Oh, man. That looks good. Okay. This game's making me go full psychopath, guys. Let's fix up our varmint rifle, too. Because we have a lot of them. We need to actually use some of them, maybe. There we go. Let's keep it moving. We should probably use this more as opposed to our cowboy repeater until we have uh, better means of repairing 
said repeater. Don't get me wrong, it's good. And I like using it a lot, but... Mmm. What the fuck are you? Giant ants! I don't like ants. Hey, fuck you. And you too, buddy. Get out of here. It's so nice to actually have like an iron sights as opposed to like Fallout 3, which had just had, you know, like basically third person gun when you aim down sight. It's nice to actually have like proper iron sights. It's nice. A, a bright follower. Oh shit, there's a thing going on. And I'm spooked. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, this is bad. This is bad. Ow, okay. If you could just fucking not, there's two of them. There's definitely two of them. Fuck! Shoot it! Kill it with fire! No, that didn't do a lot of damage. Ow, okay, all right, leave me alone, guy. Oh my fuck, there's three of them! No! Oh my god. Yeah, come here, asshole! I fucking dare you! Oh my god. It's actually using up a lot of ammo. Let's take down one fucking rad scorpion. I'll take the gland, though. It's worth a decent amount. Why not, you know? That was wild. Take this, too. What the hell's going on here? Oh, that was a bird. A little burb. If you will. Nipton Road General Store. Let's see what's in here. Not a lot. Cram. Some gumdrops, flour. Ammo. Yeah, it's, I mean, not very useful ammo, but, you know, still ammo, nonetheless. Hmm. Gun cabinet, locked average. Shit. That's unfortunate. Yeast, we don't need yeast. Same point, luck out. What the fuck do we need uh, yeast for? Oh man, it's a giant statues. Oh my God, rad scorpions again, seriously? Could you just like fuck off? What the fuck? Y'all see this? Y'all see what's happening here? He's stuck in the ground. We just gotta shoot his tail. Maybe he'll just fall through the earth and die. Oh, yep, there he goes. Look at him. That was interesting. Let's go up here and see what this place is about. Now, the thing is. As well, I don't like, I mean, I, as much as I hate to admit it, the UnCR is one of the better outcomes for, like, the Mojave, you know? Like, the NCR can do a lot of good here. I'm not saying I'm going to side with them, but I feel like I should be on their side right now, and if I decide to not work with them later, then fine. But I would rather try to work with them now and be on their good side at least. You know? We'll see how it goes. Hmm.
It is like the middle of the fucking night. Maybe we should. Actually, it's only like five. Let's wait until like nine. Hmm. Morning. Good morning. Hey, buddy. Caravan, citizen, pilgrim, or. Uh. Courier. Just need something for the logbook. Keeping tabs on traffic throughout the outpost. Although mostly just in, not out these days. If you're looking for the commanding officer, he's in the back. Although, he's got a lot on his plate, so if you speak with him, keep it short. Right, okay. Also, if you need any gear checked, we can get you up and running again. Once you fill out the work orders and sign for the parts, of course. Right, okay. Um, anything I can do to help, uh, help out around here? Help? Oh, well, you could speak to Ranger Jackson. He might have something for you. Gotcha. He sort of runs things around here. Mostly ends up sending reports back west that aren't filled with the best news. Gotcha, okay. Well, I'll go talk to him. Dismissed. I don't fucking work for you. Don't tell me when I'm dismissed. Ranger right. Jackson. Oh, he looks like such a manly looks man. Like we got a new visitor in the old Brahmin pen. Not many people coming here in a hurry. Only passing through. Right. And if you're passing through, you picked a bad time. Road north has gone to hell, and if I let a caravan through, they won't make it. Gotcha. Um, any way I can help? Help? No, look, I appreciate... Uh, you know what? Yes, I could use the help. And you look like you can handle yourself. I need to get the caravans moving again. That means clearing a path north. There's too much crawling the asphalt up the road to allow it. Right. Uh, so sounds like a deal, dude. Thanks, I appreciate it. Come back here when you're done. I might accidentally lose some supplies to pay you with. Gotcha. Okay, we sounds go good. Quietly. The Legion can count on that. Is there anything else in this fucking place? Oh, there is. What's going on in here? Oh yeah, it's Cass. Looking for trouble? Um it's mine and my business. Your business, huh? Now there's a store worth tending. You run along now. Judging by that busted pilot light expression you're fixed with, business ain't so good. Uh Hmm. Uh, I think we got off on the wrong foot. How about a how about a drink, Cass? How about a drink? How about a couple is what you mean. Drinking to forget. And it's only getting me mad instead. Whiskey always gets my temper up now more than ever. Drinking used to cause all sorts of trouble back west. Before I punched enough people, that is. And they learned to lay low when the whiskey hit. Right. Uh, what are you, uh, back west? Yeah, if you couldn't tell, I'm not from around here. And I'm not NCR. I run a caravan. Or did. Right. Lost my caravan heading north. The driver burned to ash. And they didn't even take the cargo. They just burned that too. Uh, why would they do that? My guess is Legion. They're trying to cut NCR's supply line. And the Mojave outpost is proof. Got us locked up tighter than a new Vegas virgin. No caravans in. It's quite the expression. And just try arguing with Jackson about it. Roads aren't safe, he says. No shit, you washed out old fuck up. I didn't need a brotherhood scribe to tell me that. Right. Hmm. I've met him nice impersonation. Yeah. He's been with NCR so long, all he can see is the worst outcome of everything. So he doesn't do anything. Jackson won't let me head north. It's not safe. And even though my caravan's gone, my caravan papers are keeping me here. So if you came here for Interesting. work... My advice? Go find the Crimson Caravan branch south of Vegas. They can help you out. I wanted to ask you something else. What's on your mind? Uh... Actually, nah, never mind. You take care now. You just, uh, do your thing. Hmm. So we should stop by the Crimson Caravan at some point. We'll, uh, we'll go check that out when we get there, eventually. Now, there is a person up here we can talk to, right? You a courier? If so, this might be your lucky day. If you don't mind walking a bit. 
and your eyes are good. Right. Uh, depends on the work. I think there's trouble in Nipton. No traffic from there on the roads. And while I can explain that away, the smoke from the town I can't. I'm sure it's been hit. What I need to know is if they survived it. Might be powder gangers with all that smoke in the air. Gotcha. If there's anybody left, they'd be in the Nipton Town Hall. Go there. Check it out. Let me know what you find. Uh, I'll, I'll do it. All right. Look at you. All fired up and ready to go. Wish the others around here had that kind of attitude. Listen, I don't want you getting killed for this. So if you head there and run into trouble, I'm asking for eyes and ears, not your life. All right? Sounds good. Mind yourself on the plank going down. And we got a lot of quests going on. Let's go hop on Ranger Jackson first, because I'm pretty sure Ranger Jackson's is actually right down here. Um, can you find it in your heart? Right. Okay. We can actually go to the, the road stop right down here that we uh, cleared out. Awesome. Convenient. Very convenient. It looks like there's a bunch of shit over here we gotta kill. Oh my god. Hello there. What it's the fuck? see a friendly face. I almost took you for a raider, I did. Name's Malcolm. Malcolm Holmes. This might not be the best Don't time, Malcolm. you care to trade. I'm missing a few essentials and... Ah, oh, screw this. Lying just ain't in my nature. I'll tell it to you straight. I've been following you for a good bit now. Then you can probably see I'm in the middle of some shit. But, uh... Why are you following me? It started off innocently enough. I was traveling, as I often do, and happened to observe you picking up one of those blue star caps. Okay. You didn't show any reaction to it. So, I figured you didn't know what you'd gotten your hands on. Uh... Why didn't you see anything then and there? I had to make sure of your disposition. There's a lot of jumpy folks out there that'll shoot a man as soon as talk to him. Right, okay. Now that we're conversing, Fine. though, I can tell you what I know about those caps. There's an old wasteland legend that says somewhere out there is a fabulous treasure from before the war. Okay. Those caps with the blue star on them, the tale goes, are the key to that treasure. They're called Sunset Sarsaparilla Stars. Right. Uh, so where can I find more of these things? All over the place. The easiest place to find them is unopened bottles of Sunset Sarsaparilla. Right. you think they'd all have been picked clean by now, but somehow new bottles keep appearing in the machines. Some say it's old Festus that does it, hoping someone will finally collect enough caps to earn the treasure. Other than bottles, you'll just have to scavenge. You can find caps in the unlikeliest of places, and blue star caps are no exception. Right. Um, so you collect these caps too? Nah, I gave it up years ago. Too dangerous. And even if I did still collect them, I'd tell you the same. Right. There's people out there so mad with the idea of treasure that they'll attack strangers just on the suspicion that they have some of those caps. Gotcha, right. Okay. Well, uh, thanks for the info, buddy, but I got some shit to take care of. No problem. I'm in the middle of some shit, you as you can see. to collect more stars. Watch out for a man named Alan Marks. He's killed several people for their stars already. Gotcha. Watch out! Maybe if I just hide behind him, maybe they'll come and attack him. He's gotta have some shit. I know it. But I don't want to kill him. I'm not a bad guy. I just want him to die. Watch out! I think those things gave up on chasing me. Oh, no, they didn't. Attack him! Get him! Oh, he's running right through him. He's running right through him just for me. Oh, God. Fuck these things. Ant meat. Okay, that's fine. Let's just go and fucking take care of these things. We'll just jump down here. Fuck it. There we go. Nice. Oh, shit. There was a couple up there. They were chasing me, but we, uh, we ran away from them. We jumped down here. Oh, they're little babies. There we go. We do not have a lot of ammo left for this, which is unfortunate. Let's 
Let's go and tell Ranger Jackson what's up. Appreciate the help. Wish I had more work for you, but nothing else on the radar at the moment. Gotcha. You mentioned a reward? No, I mentioned you might accidentally get supplied. And I meant it. Not allowed to contract mercenaries at the outpost. Right, that makes sense. Still, a requisition form or two can get lost, and they're not gonna come check. So here you go. Just between us. Sounds good. Alright, and we got another level. Hmm. And, with this, I believe a... Um... I believe we get a perk too, yes. Running gun, that's not a bad one. Lady killer. I... Hmm. Lady killer is interesting. I think we should take lady killer. That's a, uh, that's a good perk. Oh man, we got some stuff. Some caravan lunches, a weapon, two weapon repair kits, that's pretty good. I'll take that. Hunter bottle caps as well. Oh man. I'm glad we did those missions, actually. That guy looks very sad. But let's go and, um, man, what was that other mission we got here? Uh, keep your eyes on the prize. Recon the Nipton Town Hall for Ranger Ghost. Let's go do it. Nipton's that away. There we go. Who the fuck is that? Is that a caravan? It's a trader. Nipped it in searchlight. Right. What the fuck? It's a very interesting sound. Hey there. Need anything? Uh, what do you got? Sure. Here's what I got. Hmm, we got some stuff. Oh my god, actually. Tri-beam laser rifle, plasma defender. Leather armor, okay. Some stems and stuff, obviously, obviously. Whoa. Baseball bat maple body, interesting. 20 gauge rounds. We will take those because we don't have a whole lot, actually. And we'll take the slugs as well. Damn, that's a lot of grenades. Mini nukes? Damn, okay. He's got nukes. This guy's not fucking around. We'll accept. We'll just take that as it is. Um, we have some stuff to sell as well. Hmm. Like this plasma pistol, and uh, we'll keep this. This is really good. That's worth a lot of fucking money, though. Hmm. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Oh, shit. Okay. Fine. Um, accept. That's fine. I can't. How do I get the fuck out of here? Okay. Sorry, just one second, guys. What's up, man? How's it going, y'all, Krim? How are, uh, how are you? Hmm. We'll take that, that's fine. We gotta go to Nimpton. Let's continue along the road. It's very deserty out here. There's not a whole lot going on. What is this? this is the dry lake, isn't it? I almost want to discover it, but I don't want to fight ants. Oh shit, it looks like the ants are coming up here anyway. Oh, that's fine. Fuck these ants. Oh, well, they don't want to fight, it seems like. Oh my god, never mind. Mistakes were made. Mistakes have made. Oh my god. Kill it! Kill it with fire! Leave me alone. Fuck, there's more of them. 
Okay. Weather then can't sleep pretty good. I'm sorry to hear that, man. But, uh... It's good to hear that you're good. Holy shit. Okay, alright. Maybe we need to, like, try something else. We do have a lot of dynamite. Let's try some shit here. Fuck that. What happened to that dynamite? It just, like... There we go. That's good. It's always when you gotta work in the morning, you can't sleep, so you end up on Twitch at 3 a.m. Dude, I know the feels, man. I know the feels. Oh, fuck. I guess we didn't need to throw that one. That was just celebratory, I guess. But, um, but yeah, I, I know the feeling, man. Though, thankfully, I did recently, within the past couple weeks, get switched to a uh, second shift. At at my work, which is kind of nice. Kind of makes streaming a little fucked up because it's either like in the morning or uh, like late at night like this, you know? I just want to discover the location. This is the dry lake, isn't it? Is there a road in here? Oh, this is a racetrack. I've been pawned racetrack. Interesting. Jesus Christ, the ants out here. I got a fucking infestation. Some call a fucking exterminator out here. This is ridiculous. Can you please fuck off? I don't want to waste all my ammo on you guys. But I fucking will. Bastards. Man. This shit's wild. Hey, thank you for the follow, Yalkrim. I, I do very much appreciate it. And I sincerely hope I'm not butchering your name. <laughs> oh, shit! No! Oh my god, I can't see shit! The blood splatter! Fuck off and die, guy! Fuck, there's a dude over here. I will take his leather armor. I like leather armor, it's nice. And I'm running out of inventory space, though. Like, pretty quickly. Ow, that's my arm. Oh, fuck, I'm almost dead. Oh, my God. I didn't even realize. Now you're the first person to say it right in a few weeks. Awesome. I, uh, you know, I'm trying here, man. <laughs> oh, shit. Hmm. Let's just use a decent amount of stim packs. We almost fucking died there. We got kind of overrun for a second. Hmm. Take your dirty wand or two. Let's check out. Let's check out our armor. That one still has eight. It's pretty good, honestly. That only has six. It's kind of shitty. Oh yeah, look at that cowboy hat. That's pretty good. Keep it moving. What the fuck is going on over here? Are you guys fighting each other? Or who will win? Help. You there. Please help me. Why? Why? Why should I help you? Help! You there? Please help me! Help! You help me! Oh, I've lost karma. Oh, that wasn't good. Is this your first playthrough? Nah. It's been my—it's my first playthrough in a while, but you know. Thank God you came around. That guy was gonna kill me. This is one of my uh, favorite games. You know, I used to play it a lot, a lot, but it's been a minute. And I've already done Fallout 3 on the channel since I started streaming, so I figure next logical step, you know? <laughs> uh, are you alright? I am now. I was just minding my own business heading west when that psycho came out of nowhere and started shooting. 
He kept shouting about stars or something. Does that make any sense to you? Uh, yeah, he's probably trying to steal some uh, Sunset Sarsaparilla stars from you. I actually just learned about those. Some what? Never mind. I'm going to take a few moments to compose myself, then head out. Thank you again. Thomas's journal. Probably didn't need to take that leather armor. What the fuck? Oh, bitch! Oh, fuck the star caps. Well, I just got fucking nine of them. Fuck you. She tried. She failed, but she tried. Ah, oh, Nipton. The fuck is this guy's problem? What is he doing? Yeah! Who won the lottery? I did! Smell that air! Couldn't you just drink it like booze? <laughs> you alright, dude? Are you kidding me? Never felt better! Yeah! Did those star caps make me question what the fuck I was doing with my life? <laughs> yeah, I could see that. I could definitely see that. What sort of lottery did you win, guy? What lottery? The lottery, that's what lottery. Are you stupid? Only lottery that matters. Oh, oh my God, smell that air. Jesus <laughs> Christ. You a powder ganger? Powder ganger, what? I mean, yeah, used to be, sure. But not no more. Powder gang is small time, man. I'm a winner. I won the motherfucking lottery. <laughs> I'm gonna get going, dude. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. All right, let's go in here first. What's up, buddy? Are you fucking kidding me? What? First, I get my leg smashed, and then in walks the Powder Ganger's grim fucking Reaper. What the fuck have you got against us, man? Jesus fucking Christ! If you want me dead, just give me 15 medics and I'll fucking OD for you, okay? Fuck. Jesus, man. Uh... What the hell happened here? The Legion happened. What the fuck's it look like? Uh, how'd you survive? Luck, that's how. I'm just that fucking lucky. You're looking at the second place winner of the Nipton Lottery. That asshole Swanick took first place. So him they let walk. Right. Tell me about the lottery. It ain't like we came to Nipton to play it. Me and my crew had it worked out to kidnap some NCR troopers who come to town to get laid. Right. Had it all worked out with the scumbag mayor. <clears throat> we were going to ransom them off, keep their weapons for ourselves, a nice score. Uh, how'd it go wrong? We get in position, and next thing we know, we're surrounded by those fucking Legion freaks. They dragged us and everybody else into the center of town. And that asshole with a dog on his head, he starts talking about how we're bad people. He said we needed to be punished for what we did. Not all of us, but some of us. And then he gives everyone a fucking lottery ticket. Uh, what happened after, uh, after said tickets were dispersed? What do you think? He started drawing tickets and that's how people got punished. First up was the lucky losers. They got decapitated. Guess that's lucky because it's pretty quick. Right. Then came the crucifixions. God damn, but those went on and on and on. Third place runners up got enslaved. I got the fuck beat out of my legs and the winner, they let go free. Uh, what happened to the mayor? Him? When his ticket came up, they burned him alive on a pile of tires. Oh, that's good. All right. Since some of the people were enslaved? Yeah, a bunch of those Legion fucks dragged him off right away. They were headed east, if you're feeling heroic. I'll see what I can do to save him. Don't act like you'd be doing me a favor. I don't give a fuck. Okay. All right. Fuck you, guy. I'll see Bye. you later. Quest added. Booted. Rescue the captives. Okay. We'll go and help them out. After you see, uh, what the fuck is up here. You know? Oh, shit. Squad is assembling. That's a lot of dudes. Don't worry. I won't have you lashed to a cross like the rest of these degenerates. 
It's useful that you happen by. Oh, I really? I want you to witness the fate of the town of Nipton, to memorize every detail. And then, when you move on, I want you to teach everyone you meet the lesson that Kaisar's Legion taught here, especially any NCR troops you run across. Uh... What? Uh... Fuck you, dude. You just fucking crucified everyone in town. As are all crimes. If you feel strongly about it, attack us. And soon you won't feel a thing. Fuck you. Should we check out the mayor's office? There's gotta be, like, something good in here, right? Well, not... I mean, he's dead. What was that? Oh my god, everyone's dead. Poor bastards. I hear dogs. Come on, assholes! Fuck! Doggos, leave me alone! Oh my god. Oh, he's sitting down. What a good boy! Oh my god. We're almost out of ammo with that gun. I think we'll stick with the uh, Varma rifle for now. Look at him. What a good pup. Worst scatter shot ever. Yeah. You're not wrong. I'm gonna go up here and check out what else is in town, too. Oh, fuck, it's more doggos. El Doggerinos, time to die! I look sweet with my cowboy hat. Ah, fuck! No! Oh god, I'm terrible. I'm terrible! This is doing no damage! No! Ow! Leave me alone, pup! Hey, fuck you! Ah! Oh my god, okay, alright. We just gotta shoot him in the face. There we go. Oh, Poor doggo. Oh man. There's a lot of things, uh... Oh fuck! Ow! What the hell? There's mines? Dead prospector. Ooh. A caravan shotgun. That's good. Some bottle caps. Absent. Fucking absent. You know, I've only ever had absent once in my life, and it was. It's painful. It hurts. It's good. It where it's effective. But it hurts. Sten's office. What's going on in here? Ooh, Sunset Sarsaparilla. Yes, please. Nuka Cola. I mean, I don't really care that much about Nuka Cola. I care more about the Sarsaparilla. You know. Whiskey. Sure. Why not? Hmm. Anything in here? No. A couple bottle caps for sure. Okay. A bathroom. Is there a thing in here? Oh, there is. I'll take all that stuff. A very easy lock. Wow, that was convenient. Okay. Hmm. Any of these working? No. <coughs> Excuse me. Shit. Conductor. I feel like we need these, actually, for something, but I don't know what. You know, that's fine. Whatever. Ooh, a sarsaparilla. Oh, here we go. Big book of science. Mayor Sten's terminal. Hmm. Setting mainframe connection. Okay. Handshaking complete testing. Tony was a tough kid to build up all this terminal and set it up for me. All 30 camps were at the Rosie. Interesting. Life of marriage suits me just fine. I'm glad I didn't go any further east. I'm making plenty of caps right here off Rosie and Sylvia, who attract plenty of interest from the troops at the Mojave Outpost. Guess you spend enough time standing around at that backwater and you're ready to hop on something that looks like a mole rat and doesn't smell much better. That's kind of fucking rude, guy. 
and the local shops are all giving me a percentage of sales to the troops, or giving me a percentage of sales to the troops because it's my girls who bring them in. I think that they're, uh, I hate Fallout 76. <laughs> Thanks for the follow, man. <laughs> I do appreciate it. Uh, I think they're shrewd negotiators for getting me to accept a 15% cut instead of 20. Another year in this dump, two at the most, and it's back to the hub for me. Oh, the hub. Interesting little callback. Maybe I'll run for office there. Hmm. Prison break. Promising development, if I do say so myself. It seems that things went to hell at the NCR Correctional Facility north of here and escaped. Prisoners are roaming free. Sounds like a bad thing, and would be, if not for the political acumen and interpersonal alchemy of yours truly, Mayor Joseph B. Sten, Esquire. Esquire, eh? That's pretty good. I sent the gyms out to make contact with the prisoners, or powder gangers, rather. They insist on this name. To let them know Nipton's open for trade. With free turns set with the girls as door prizes. It's kind of fucked. Huh, you know they went for that deal. As sold by Little Jim, anyway. Big Jim. Rest in peace. See a lot of potential here, and so long as I can keep the NCR troops and powders, ridiculous name, from running into each other and shooting it out on the streets. Luckily, the troopers only come here at night. Double entendre. So if the powder gangers uh, will only come during the day, again, I'll have them coming third time's the charm. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. How's it going? You're just in confidence. Oh my god, high roller. I can hardly believe my luck. Literally, I'm a gape. Just now, I was approached by a rather intense young man calling himself Mr. Fox. We were alone in my office. He let it be known that he is a member of Caesar's Legion. He knew of that NCR troops and powder gangers. Often spend time in Nipton. It turns out that the Legion hates and wishes to make an example of both groups. The NCR for obvious reasons, and the powder gangers for harassing the Legion raiding parties on this side of the river. I didn't know... I didn't have to think a moment about Mr. Fox's proposition before accepting it. All I have to do is convince the powders to kidnap the NCR troops at night. When both groups are in town, the Legion boys will scoop everyone up. For this simple task, I've been offered 8,000 caps. That's actually pretty fucking good. I could almost go back to the NCR right away, but who knows how much else I might make off this Legion lackey. Yeah, it's uh, I'm going to start stockpiling some supplies in a safe house between here and the Mojave Outpost, just in case I decide to head back home in a hurry. Signed, with a steady hand, on the keyboard. Super Mayor Joseph B. Sten, the third Esquire. You're very competent. What do you mean? I'll take this. Programmer's Digest? Two of them, actually. It's pretty good. I like the lore. Hey, uh, hey, how's it going, uh, fall, uh, I hate Fallout 76. Your name, man. It gets me. I'm just gonna call you Fallout, my guy. But, uh, not much. Just chilling, you know? You said you're incompetent. Did I? I was just reading. But thank you, Kai. I do appreciate it. But yeah, we're just, uh, we're just chilling. Fallout, you know, playing Fallout. Uh, just got off work a little while ago. How are you? Should we kill these guys? I feel kind of bad just leaving them up here. I'm good. That's good, man. That's very good. Yep, I should. I mean, they're gonna die anyway. Sorry, buddy. Oh, fuck. It didn't kill him. Oh, no. I'm sorry, dude. Ah. Uh, Alright. Well. Hold on. Where was that, um... That. Oh man, that's way over there. Okay. Well, before we do, let's go back to the the outpost and go and talk to Ranger Ghost. Let her know what's up. 
like I said, I don't know if I'll work with him yet. You know what I mean? I, uh, I'm not 100% sure who I'm gonna side with during this playthrough, but I would rather have the NCR on my side right now, just for the time being, you know? So if I can do little things here and there, I might as well. You check out the Nipton Town Hall yet? Smoke trail's not getting any shorter. It was attacked by the Legion. Legion this far west? You're fucking kidding me. I wish That's I was. That's not outside the border. They're moving in, and fast. Nipton wasn't the most friendly town, but... All right. Thanks for checking on that. Wish it set my mind at ease. Now I'm more on edge than ever. I'm sorry to hear that, man. Did you have friends there? In Nipton? Hell no. Town was a shithole, asking to be burned. Just not by Legion. Nobody deserves that. Right. Well, thanks for hoofing it there and back, even if it was bad news. Wish we could spare the troops to go hunting, but orders are to stay put. Fucking Mojave's going to hell, and all I can do is sit here and watch. Sorry to hear that, man. Oh, we're so close to leveling up. Oh, man. Well, I suppose we head to Novak. That was our next, uh... Our next stop, they were going to uh, Novak through Nipton. Or, uh, Nipton. Wait, what? We, they were going to Novak through Nipton, yeah. Grit, do you find new jobs scary? I was talking to some managers today to help get my foot in the door, and it scared me. Also, Ghost looks terrifying with mods. She just looks terrifying in general. But, um... <sighs> Do I personally? No. I don't really get anxiety about things like that. You know what I mean? Like, it, I don't know. I definitely understand why some people do. Don't get me wrong. Like, I get it. But, but me personally, it's just... I mean, manager or not, a person is a person. You know? I have no issues talking to people. You know what I mean? It's, at the end of the day, I mean, yeah, they may be a future boss, but they're still just people. Like, I've been with the same company for seven years, and the thought of leaving this company terrified me. Not so much the uh, interviewing and, and etc. You know, I've only worked a couple jobs in my life, but it, um, you know, oh, fuck. Leaving a new company and like starting fresh, like, what the fuck? Why are you dying? But it like, I mean, yeah, it's different and change can be a little bit scary sometimes, but it's not always necessarily a bad thing. You know what I mean? A lot of the time change is for the better. If you think it needs to be done, it's because it needs to get done. You know, if you think you need to leave somewhere, it's because you probably need to leave there. Just do it, you know? Hey, great, you know, my lady friend I was talking uh, about, well, me and her went to our school market night, and she said she needed to, re to rest, so she put her head on my shoulder, and then she had a, a rest for about 10 minutes. That's pretty good, man. Actually, that's, uh, that's the type of thing that got me and my wife actually like together i was um when i when i first met my wife she was new to school and she just kind of walked into class and i had an open seat by me and my friend so i was like hey come sit here and then like fast forward a few weeks and she would like she did like the same thing almost she would like kind of go to sleep in class a little bit on my like on my arm or something like that you know and then it just ended up turning into a relationship. And now we're fucking married and we've been together five years. You're right, I've tried for three years not to leave and honestly it's making me a worse associate. Thanks. Hey, no problem, man. I know, I know how it is. Guy pretending I haven't heard this story over and over again. Well, you know, I'm just trying to, like, 
you know. Let other people know, you know what I mean? I'm proud of that story, Kai. You know? It makes me happy telling it, you know? And that reminded me of that a lot. It's very similar. I think it's sweet. That was a good time. Definitely change. It was a life-changing moment, you know. Is there a thing here? I distinctly remember there being a thing here. Ash. Legion is an ash. I do like the caravaner outfit. But it doesn't have any armor, so I don't want it. Hmm. Lottery tickets. I don't give a shit about those. Lottery's over. Hmm. Well, this is fine. We're gonna keep, uh... We're gonna keep moving. We have a long ways to go before we get to Novak. And I'd like to get there. Welcome to Nevada. Also, I bought her something there, too. Nice. You're making progress, gamer. You're making progress. It's good, yeah? I was walking my department when I lived in Alabama, and my ex stole my clipboard and wrote his number on my checklist, and that's how relationship started. Would have been magical if he, if he didn't have a girlfriend behind my back. Oh, fuck. Sorry to hear that guy. <laughs> That's rough. That's a rough one. I'll be real. Oh, fuck. You see that guy up there? See that big horner up there, too? Look at him. He looks majestic. The night sky. Fuck. I don't think we're gonna be able to... Is that fucking Legion? Look at those guys. And this guy. Oh, my God. They're planning a fucking, like, coup or something. I missed or maybe I'm just too far away. I don't know how far this guy. Ow! Fuck! Fuck! I've been had! Ow! Mistakes were made. Okay, alright, maybe we just need to like. Where's my sunset sarsaparillas? And she asked me to walk her home, so I did. That's pretty good, man. Pretty good. I'm glad to hear things went well. Shit! Ow! Why? What's happening? Are you shooting grenades at me? Hey, fuck you! Leave me alone! You know what that said? I'm going up here. I'm gonna teach this guy a fucking lesson about manners. Hey, dickhead! Where'd you go? Oh, did you run away? Were you spooked? Were you spooked, boy? Do you wanna fight me like a man? Fuck you. That being said, I learned a lot from him. Despite the girlfriend, he swept me off my feet and showed me how you really should be treated in a relationship and what a spark is. I wouldn't try to trade what we had for the world. I've never once killed this guy. Well, he's about to fucking die today. At least this guy is. The other guy ran away for some reason. Look at this fucking idiot. Well, can't see shit, but that's fine. That's what fucking happens. I actually probably helped you out, so you're welcome. Had enough? Ow! I 
she's dead now. Take these. Um, I'll take your med axe too. That's kind of worth a lot, but it's really heavy. I'm not gonna take that. That dude ran away like a spook little lad. Spook little boy. Hmm. Ow, ow, ow. Is that the dude? That was the dude. Fuck. This has been brutal. Take all these. Stim pack too. Quick save. For the longest time, I just avoided the boomers. I had to Google it to finally figure this shit out, even with the guy's instructions. Yeah, I mean, you just gotta fucking book it, you know? Like, you just gotta run, like, really fast. We'll meet up the wait, well, blah, blah 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 We'll meet up with the boomers at some point. I left for a minute. Did you put a sheriff in the city whose name I can't remember? It's Prim. And uh no, I did not. I figured I'd think about it and then come back. <sighs> because I mean they kinda get oppressed with the NCR running it. The sheriff guy I never really trust. You know? And Wolfhorn Ranch. And I, I mean, I, I just don't know. And I don't have the know how to fix the robot to reprogram him. What the fuck is going on here? It's a well. It's a pretty hardcore well. Hmm. Is there anything in here? Let's go inside. Take a look, see. And the good thing is that my lady friend is in my class. I mean, you just have nowhere to hide. Yeah, you're right. I always just ran. I just fucking booked it. Reinforced leather armor. What does the reinforced leather armor look like? Oh, yeah. I don't know how much I like the look of the reinforced leather armor versus just the regular leather armor. I just feel like... The regular leather armor, it reminds me so much of Mad Max. It's basically Mad Max's outfit. I mean, let's be real. It looks bitchin'. I usually do NCR because I can't figure out how to do the robot section. I don't trust the convict. Yeah, I feel that. You just gotta be cool with the powder gangers. And then they'll kind of let you in. Chopper. Is this unique? Oh, it is. Bonus limb damage. Interesting. Hmm. Very interesting. Fix this up, I suppose. I think we should be using this, though. Stray razor. And some bottle caps. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, rip. We're not robbing a grave. Oh, God. It's the ghost voices again. Well, I don't think the NCR is flawed. So I do think they're the best, best option. Like, the U.S. government is flawed, but we're better with them than without them. I, I honestly, the more I have thought about it, like over and over again with playing this consistently over the years, as much as I like an independent Vegas, I almost feel like the NCR is the best option for, or not the NCR, the um, Mr. House is almost the best option for them in the long run. He's kind of a dick, but if you really think about it, like he is probably- Hey, hey there. He is hey probably there. their Anything. best hope. I mean, as like I said, as much as I don't like him, he's kind of a fucking genius, and he knows how to 
keep a society alive. Sure, you that's know? what I got. Oh, he has like the same type of stuff that, that the last dude had. That's okay, we just kinda wanna sell some shit to him. The caravan shotguns we can use. Chopper we can probably get rid of. It's he's just it's a lot of caps. So we might as well. Incinerator. Hmm. Service rifle can go. Hmm. Frag mines can probably go. 10 millimeter pistols, we can repair this with a, so that's good. We'll keep that. Reinforced leather armor. Hmm. We don't need the sexy sleepwear. Um, hmm. We'll keep the, thir or the Vault 13 jumpsuit. It's kind of nice, I suppose. Hmm. He doesn't have enough to pay us, so maybe we'll take a stim pack for our troubles. My lady friend got hit by a car, which thank, which only thankfully she only got a really bad cut. Yeah, at least it wasn't serious. Like, I've been hit by a car once when I was like 12. That fucking sucked. That hurt really bad. I just got cuts everywhere. That was painful. Mr. House doesn't care about anything beyond Vegas, though. The NCR may struggle, but they support all the wastes. I feel like... I mean, I guess... I guess... I'm gonna wait as long as I can to make that decision of what I wanna do. Hmm. We need to head north. Is that motherfucking Legion? You know what? I'm not gonna get involved. They can handle it. They can handle themselves. I know I went to get off the road, so I stood in the road to stop cars, and my friends took her to the office. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Look at NCR, dude. He's booking it. He wasn't having any of this. There's a couple NCR guys here. And I believe the NCR would beat out the Enclave and become the US government. I really wish there was a really good way to make um, like, like an independent Vegas a viable option. What the fuck? Ow. Ow, what the fuck? Is that you? Hey, dickhead! What the hell? I'm gonna fucking die! Oh my god. Grid, you play any Bethesda games? I do. I actually just finished, um... Uh... I actually just finished a playthrough of Oblivion. Not long ago, last week actually. I think it was Friday, I believe. Maybe Thursday. But I, I finished a run of Oblivion that was really good. And I've also played Fallout 3 on the channel, but that that was a minute ago. Probably like three weeks ago, maybe uh oh, maybe a month ago, maybe a month and a half ago. It's been a while, honestly. I didn't really think it was that long ago. What what just happened? You're playing one? Actually, actually, this is an Obsidian game. Oh fuck, I hit my mouse. The Obsidian, Obsidian made this game. Bethesda just published it. To be fair, it was all developed by Obsidian. They made this entire game. Bethesda just put their name on it. Bethesda let them have the rights to make it. What my life is a lie. Yeah, Obsidian's a great fucking company. It's actually, Obsidian is actually comprised of 
some of the dudes who made the original Fallouts, like Fallout 1 and Fallout 2 in Tactics. Yeah. So I love Obsidian. Obsidian's great. That's why when they did this, it felt... This one feels so much like the original Fallouts, like... Like Fallout 1 and 2. Because it was made by the same dudes who made the originals. It wasn't made by Bethesda. I'm not sure you should be here. Oh, okay. I'll just go fuck myself then, guy. Thanks. As much as I love Fallout 3, New Vegas was a refined 3. I mean, let's just be real. Like, it just, you know, it feels so much better than 3. Great, I'll do it for you. <laughs> what? What, what, what do you mean, Kai? Oh, it's Novak. Look at that beautiful fucking dinosaur. And my frame rate dropping because everything's fucking spawning in. It's beautiful. Like I said, I think it's that one mod I have. I think that's what's making my frame rate drop. It's because it's spawning. It's like loading textures way out of like the range that it normally would. That's fine. I, I'll take it. I'll look into it. I'll look into like a stutter remover. But it's best I don't clarify. Are oh, you talking about when I said I'd go fuck myself? Is that what you mean, Kai? There's one person we need to see here. And it's not that lady. It's my fucking boy. Maybe. Boone. God damn it. Don't sneak up on me like that. What do you want? Expecting visitors? Yeah, I guess maybe I am. But not like you. What do you mean? Huh. Maybe it should have been you I was expecting all along. Why are you here? Uh, if you're looking for someone in particular, I could tip you off if I see him. Yeah, well, you see anybody wearing Legion Crimson or a lot of sports equipment, you just let me know. You still haven't answered my question. I uh, just wanted to check out the view from the dinosaur, I man. I think you better leave. Just making friendly conversation, dude. I don't have friends here. Jesus Christ, I'm not from here, man. No. No, you're not, are you? Maybe you shouldn't go. Not just yet. Why? I need someone I can trust. You're a stranger. That's a start. What do you want me to do? I want you to find something out for me. I don't know if there's anything to find, but I need someone to try. My wife was taken from our home by Legion slavers one night while I was on watch. They knew when to come, what route to take, and they only took Carla. Someone set it up. I don't know who. You trying to track down your wife? My wife's dead. I want the son of a bitch who sold her. What do I do if I find him? Bring him out in front of the nest here while I'm on duty. I work nights. I'll give you my NCR beret to put on. It'll be our signal, so I know you're standing with him. Right. And I'll take care of the rest. I need to do this myself. I'll see what I can do. Good. I'll make it worth your while. And one more thing. We shouldn't speak again. Not until it's over. No one in town knows that I know what happened to my wife. Best they never know. Or the Legion will be after me next. How do you know your wife is dead? I know, all right. That's all you need to know. All right, buddy. Yeah. I'll help you out. Maybe, but I can neither confirm or deny if that's what I meant. All right, guy. Hmm. Did this automatically start the quest? It did. Oh, we never did this one. We never rescued the captives. We'll go back and do that soon. Hmm. Maybe we should wait till daytime when everybody's out and about. You know? Hmm. Oh shit. Their guns sound so cool. Hey there. 
Hey! There's someone up here. Oh wait, maybe they're on the other side of the building. Hmm. I love Boone. What's up, buddy? Welcome to the Dino Bite gift shop. My name's Cliff. If you're here for the T-Rex figurines, you're just in time. There's still a few left. Right. What can you tell me about Boone's wife, my guy? Can't say we spoke much. Boone did most of the buying for him. She was in the store once, but she didn't stay long. Had a look on her face like she'd smelled something sour. But far as I can remember, the gift shop smelled fine. Well, fine as it always does. But I, daytime, he won't be on watch. What happens if he takes the wrong person? Like, he takes someone you don't like. I'm assuming he'll just kill him. Look for a man in a checkered coat. Have you seen anyone like that? Sure, but he didn't buy any souvenirs, if that's what you're wondering. He knows. Sounded like he didn't have his money with him. His friends seemed disappointed about it. Heck, I would be too if and I, I need to ask around. store and left my money elsewhere. Manny might know more about him. That's why it's, I've changed it to daytime. One or two of them. He's up in the dino mouth during the day. Manny. Oh, shit, he's right here. What's going on, man? I'm looking for a man in a checkered coat, Manny. Sure I know him. What do you want with him? I have a score to settle. Doesn't surprise me. Guy seemed like he'd do whatever it takes to get what he wants. Probably makes a lot of enemies. Well, listen, I can definitely help you find him, but I've got problems of my own. Maybe we can do a trade. You need my help. There's something I need, too. What do you, uh, what do you need, man? Novak, it's home for me now. I want that to be for good. I like it here, and I've left too many homes behind. Right. But the only resource we got here is junk. Without that, people wouldn't have anything to trade. They don't have to leave. We get most of it up the road from the old rocket test site, but a bunch of ghouls showed up one day and took it over. We can't get in there now. Uh, what needs to be done? Well, they gotta go. Or this will be a ghost town before long. I hate this quest. It doesn't matter to me what you do. As long as the ghouls are out of there, that's good enough for me. I'll see what I can be done about it. It'd mean a lot to me. Yeah, see ya. I don't mind this quest. I've done it a fuck ton of times. So I know it like inside and out, but you know. Hello. Hmm. I don't know where we need to go. We'll go talk to some more people. Let's talk to this bitch. Well, welcome to you. You look tired from the road. Why don't you relax a spell? Let this fine town take care of you. Are you gonna do the quest beyond killing the ghouls though? Probably, it's the better outcome, I think. I think it's the more interesting outcome. I'll probably help him out. What can you tell me about Boone's wife? How should I put it? I guess you could say she was kind of like a cactus flower. Real pretty to look at, but there was just no getting close to her. She never did take to living here. She liked the big lights and fast living of New Vegas. I got the feeling she was trying to get Boone to leave with her, but I guess she got tired of waiting. Hmm. Interesting. Watch out for strangers. But I'll probably do that quest tomorrow, though. We're probably going to do uh, this quest. And maybe go back and help those survivors and then probably end it tonight. It's getting pretty late, you know? It's, pretty, it's 3 in the morning. I usually end my streams about now, but we'll do some of this stuff. Hey there. In from out of town, ain't you? Name's Dusty. I don't like her at all. I don't like her either. What can you tell me about Boone's wife, Dusty? Well, to be honest with you, I don't really know them two as well as I might. Right. I remember she had an edge about her, like she'd rather be someplace else. This kind of life ain't for oh, everyone. That's my chest. That's for I don't know if you guys heard that. Oh. So long. Look who's here. Dusty's quest is dope. Things treating you all right? What are you doing here, Novak? Oh, I tend to my ranch. That's about it. Alice will tell you, I don't get out a whole lot. 
How is business lately? You must mean what's left of it. Somebody's been attacking our animals at night. We're down to less than half of what we had a few weeks back. Tell me what you know about the attacks, my guy. Every night around midnight, Alice and I wake up to some crazy hollering and gunshots. You'd think the world was ending all over again. But it's just one animal each night. They don't take it or carve it up or nothing. Just leave it there, all full of holes. That's unfortunate. I'll see if I can catch whoever's responsible. We'd be grateful. Especially if you find them before they get my whole stock. But don't go getting yourself killed over it. Alice and I'll find a way to make do. Always have. Did you get a look at him? Beg your pardon, mister, but them two-headed beeves ain't worth getting shot over. Right. Not to mention what would happen if half of what nobody <coughs> says is true. Best we can hope is that whoever's doing this will move on or get tired of it. I just hope it happens while we still got animals left. Whoever it is, I don't think they're from around town. Seems like they've taken to shooting from the west side. Right, okay. So long. It's kind of a remake of the overpass quest with the vampires. Kind of is, you're right. I didn't really think of it that way before, but you are right. Wait, what the fuck? Why is it leading me back in here? I already talked to him. Oh, I gotta talk to her too. What brings you here? What can you tell me about Boone's wife? Boone. That's that sniper fella. Works in the dinosaur, right? I only met them but once or twice. They seem real happy together. I really ought to get to know them better. They're probably nice folk. Hmm. What can you tell me about the attacks on your ranch? Well, wow, that's the strangest thing. Last time it happened, I could swear I heard someone cry out for help. Sounded like a big fella. But when we finally got up the gumption to go look outside, all we found was our cattle. And I know what they sound like when they get upset. Right. I can't imagine what went on. Dusty can probably tell you more about it. Gotcha. Nice of you to visit. You have a good day. Hmm. Let's go ask around a little bit more. And then, uh... You know, we might look into Dusty's quest, too. Fuck, I'm gonna be up late. <laughs> I just love this game too much. I can't, like, I don't know. I never know when to stop. Who sent you? I ain't talking. They tried to get me to talk before, but I didn't say nothing. And I don't aim to now, by gum. I don't mean any harm, buddy. We'll just see about that. You come any closer, and I'm liable to stick you with my sticking knife. Sticking knife. Stick is feeling mighty ornery this day. I can't wait till he or she dies. Me neither, Kai. We can talk from this distance, buddy. You sure now? It's kind of hard to hear you. You said you'd stab me with that dirty knife. Okay, okay, just speak up a little. Not so much that they hear you. They got people everywhere, always listening. Um, what do you know about the abduction of Boone's wife? Seen it all. Seen shadowy folk come to his room and leave again in the middle of the night. Thought one might have gone in the lobby, too, for a spell. The lobby? Could be that person went in to get something. Or used the John, maybe. Interesting. Mighty interesting, either way, you ask me. That is I very thought it was interesting. Cannibals. Come to eat us all for sure. So I kept out of sight. Valid assumption. But now I know better. Who was it? More rat men. Come up from the underneath to steal young women with promises of riches and fancy mud mansions with all the latest designer appliances. They covered our lady folks' long hair for wigs, it said, being either bald or balding themselves. Right. Hmm. Interesting. Great. If anyone asks, we never spoke. Okay. We need to go search for evidence. Hey there. Hmm. Do you see me? Oh, no, you don't. Oh. oh, I can't pick the lock. She must have the key.
<laughs> we got away with that. Damn, that's a lot of stuff. Oh, I'm gonna take all this. Bill of sale. Yeah, how's it going? Hey there. We, the representatives of the Council of Fishiorium, have this day bargained and purchased from Janine May Crawford of the Township of Novak the exclusive rights to ownership and sale of the slave Carla Boone for the sum of 1,000 bottle caps. And those of her unborn, unborn child for the sum of 500 bottle caps. The receipt whereof is hereby acknowledged. We warrant the slave and her young to be ha sound, healthy, and slaves for life. We, cov we covenant with the said Janine May Crawford that we have full power to bargain and sell said slave and her offspring. Payment of an additional 500 bottle caps will be due pending successful maturation of the fetus the claim to which shall be guaranteed by possession of this document. He's kind of like the lady at Junkyard in 3. Yeah, you're right. He is, isn't he? I've never noticed, but the games are very similar. They are. She fucking not only sells a damn woman, but a pregnant one. This fucking bitch. She's gonna die. She's gonna die today. All right, so this should be enough time for him to go out there to his post and still give us enough time to do this and then go at midnight and find out what the fuck has been going on at that ranch. Janine, my lady. I hope you're finding everything to your liking. I need you to come with me. Okay, if that's what you think. Come on, buddy. She coming? Oh, she is. Okay. Is she already out here? Then the ending of what happened. This quest line makes me cry. Yeah, I know the feels, Kai. I know the feels. We'll get there one day. Come on. Come on, Janine. Just stand right there, real real still. Good shot, buddy. Fucking dirty bitch. Let's take his beret off now. Oh shit, I switched armor accidentally. I'm gonna put on my uh my cap too. Oh yeah, looking good. Looking beautiful. We look like we belong out here. Oh shit! Well, butter my butt and call me a biscuit. It's Victor. It ain't my old friend from Good Springs. What are you doing here in Novak, buddy? I don't rightly know. I just got the notion to make my way to New Vegas. Reckon I'll find out when I get there. Quite a coincidence us meeting like this. Seeing how this is the only road around. I'd be a sight more surprised if we didn't run into each other from time to time. Right. Uh, uh, well, that's fine. Be seeing you. I'll see you later, Victor. I got things to attend to. I gotta go tell Boone. No homo, but your character's a real piece of man. Yeah, look at him. He's beautiful. I wanted to make him look gruff. You know what I mean? Like, he belonged in the wasteland. Boone, my boy. That's it, then. How did you know? I found the bill of sale. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. It'd be like them to keep paperwork. Here. This is all I can give. I think our dealings are done here. What will you do after this, buddy? I don't know. I won't be staying, I know that. Don't see much point in anything right now, except hunting legionaries. Maybe I'll wander. Like you. Why don't you come with me, buddy? We can go after the Legion together. I hate those dicks. You don't want to do that. Why? We'll kill more with the two of us. Yeah, that might be true. That's reason enough for me to take you up on it, I suppose. But this isn't going to end well. Why? Fine. Let's get out of here. Whatever, man. This is fine. Wish you could tell him to keep his money. Yeah, I wish too. 
It's fine. We got Boone with us doing? now. How you doing? Cliff Brosco. Ooh, here we go. It's such a, it's such a, like, hat. It doesn't look as good, but it's such a good, like, hat. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, yeah, this isn't like a, uh, this is just a miscellaneous quest, isn't it? Dusty McBride wants to look into the nightly shootings of his, of his livestock, which he said tend to occur around midnight. Being at that Brahmin pen at that time would be would seem to be the best way to get that culprit. Oh, we gotta go now, actually. We gotta go fast. Let's just camp out here. The other thing I don't like about Boone is it leaves Novak unattended. I mean, at night, yeah, but... You know, you'd think they would they would replace him at some point. And plus, Manny is there during the day. You know what I mean? I guess we're just waiting around here for a little bit. It's almost midnight. Let's get fucking ready, Boone. Are you goddamn ready? Yeah, of course he's ready. Look at that face. He's so handsome. And beautiful. And kind of intense. He kind of reminds me of, like... Like Jason Statham. My boy. Where are you going? What are you doing? What the fuck? You guys see that? It's another way this town is like the overpass. It's always guarded. It's true. Look at this fucking dirty bitch. He thinks he's sly. Hey, motherfucker, I see you. Talking to me. Hey! Dick! Can't run from me. Damn, Boone! The screams of Brahmin. Boom, bipped his head off. Most of what is recorded here is an incomprehensible psychotic gib is a mess of incomprehensible psychotic gibberish. It seems to express a general frustration towards a set of Brahmin who are allegedly keeping the author awake at night by screaming inside his head whenever he closes his eyes. He don't want the minigun. Eh. Eh. Not a big guns guy. You know? Hey, buddy. Find anything? I did. No one's gonna attack your corral uh, from now on. Well, I don't know how you've done it, but I do know how I can thank you. Please take this. Compliments of Alice and myself. And help yourself to anything in that freezer over yonder. We got more steaks in there than we'd be able to eat in a year. Deal. So long. Hey, we're accepted. That's pretty good. All right. So, it is unfortunate. He, unfortunate he got this Brahmin. Hmm. Okay, so. The one quest we can do before we uh, end it tonight, we can go and help rescue these captives. They were back here, so if we go back to Wolfhorn Ranch, we can we can head right over there. It's actually not far off. Come on, Boone, my boy. Let's go take care of this. Let's go rescue these fuckers. It's from the Legion too. Boone's gonna be happy. He's gonna be a happy boy. He gets to shoot some Legion faces off. It's gonna be pretty good. The oh, fuck. Oh my god. Night Stalkers. Oh my god, Boone, you savage. He's so strong. Oh fuck. Boone! Boone takes a lot of damage. Is Wolf Warden the one with the notes in the storyline? I don't know, I went in the house 
I didn't see anything. We can check it out after we go and uh, rescue these captives. They're not far off from here. We'll, we'll go back and check it out. Boone, you savage. Look at these fuckers. Boone, are you ready for this shit, my guy? Be aggressive. Good. Makes things simple. Hmm. Fine by me. I think we should give him a little bit, a couple of stim packs, actually. We don't have many, but we can give him like three. I'd rather him be like safe, you know. <laughs> Fuck you. Oh yeah, these are powder gangers we're rescuing. This could be our way into that prison. If we help them out, then we might be able to get into the prison to talk to that one sheriff. Okay, we're shunned by Caesar's Legion. Oh, no, we're hated by Caesar Caesar's Legion. Oh, that's not necessarily a good thing, but whatever. Fuck them, actually. Who the fuck cares? Fuck those guys. Hey! Untie him. They got what they had coming. Well, we were the ones to deliver it. They did. Oh my god, look at all this stuff. There's nothing in here? I find that hard to believe. Hmm. Let's check out their camp, and then we'll go back to Wolfhorn real quick and check it out, and make sure that we didn't miss anything. Eh. We don't want to steal. I don't want the bad karma. Can't run from me. Hey, fuck you! Get out of here! Oh, he had a cowboy repeater. Yes, please. Thank you. And some 357 rounds. I'll take all of the things. Nice. Awesome. Yeah, let's uh, let's just let's just travel back to Wolfhorn. We'll check it out. We'll, we'll, we'll check it out. Then after we check this out, we'll head back to Novak and probably call it. Hmm. Yeah, Wolfhorn just has... It's just this building, right? Did I miss anything in here? Oh, we did miss tumblers today. We kind of need that. And some energy cells. Shit. We did miss things in here. I don't think this is the one, though. I don't I don't think this is it. Hmm. Maybe we're thinking of another ranch. Hmm. I looked at the wiki and there isn't uh notes, but there is a lootable grace and a chopper. Grace. What is grace? I didn't find that. We did find the chopper, and we sold it for hella money. Did I miss something? Hmm. Oh, grave. Oh yeah, we did hit the grave. Yeah, we hit the, we hit the grave. I don't think we missed anything. I think we got everything. There's no corn either. Oh, we can kick that box. Yeet! Oh, wait. There we go. Down the hill. Okay. But we did get the grave when we went through the first time. So, oh shit. I didn't mean to do that to my map. Nope, I'm like all the way over here. Let's go back to note back. Oh, man. Well... I don't know what that farm where that, I don't know what farm it is where that kid was. I'm not sure. I'm sure we'll find it though eventually. We're gonna be pretty thorough this playthrough. But I suppose we're gonna give it a good old save here. Oh man, it's been a, uh, it's been an interesting start to this playthrough, you know?
I think this is going to be a, a really good, a really good series. I'm, I'm excited for this going forward. I'm probably going to be playing the fuck out of this <laughs> the next little while with some intermittent Animal Crossing and stuff. Um, but also like, um, yeah, like intermittent Animal Crossing and then some multiplayer streams here and there, you know, but I, man, for the next little bit, I'm going to be playing the fuck out of this game and I'm excited, honestly. Like it, it just, it's so good. Might as well do another quest. Oh man, I have to get up in the morning to stream. I might not be able to stream Friday morning, so I definitely want to stream tomorrow morning as early as I can. So I am going to call it, unfortunately. Start it in the morning. You know, I want to try to get some sleep so I can start at nine. But, um, but yeah, it's been a good one. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, man. Gotta keep to the schedule, homies. Gotta keep to the schedule. But, um, but I'll be back on at, like, 9 or so in the morning. Maybe 9.30, but probably 9. And, uh, we'll, we'll keep playing this, probably. Just because I'm having a lot of fun with it. But it's been fun. And, uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful night. And uh, for those of you that are free in the morning, I will see you around Hope here in a few short hours. But um, have a night. Have a good night, guys. I love you all. Bye-bye. 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 B